Hi there, it's DJB, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how the combination of super glue and baking soda plays a big role in customizing model horses. Whether you need to reattach legs, ears, tails, or even just a base to sculpt on top of, the combination of super glue and baking soda reacts to each other to create almost a resin type cement that is durable, strong, sandable. It creates the perfect foundation to hold your models in place for years to come. The baking soda causes the super glue to cure instantly so you can hold and handle the model a lot faster than waiting for the super glue to dry. So I just use normal Arm & Hammer baking soda. You can buy this at any store. It's used for baking. It's actual baking soda. Really doesn't matter on the brand. Now as for super glue, I find I go to this LePage just normal super glue. It's not too expensive. You get the most in the bottle, but it is a liquid so it runs, which is a little bit harder to control at times. I've also used gel based super glues before and have found luck with both Gorilla Super Glue gel and LePage gel control. But I find that these ones are a little bit more challenging. The LePage you don't get very much in the bottle and the Gorilla Glue I find is hard to get out of the bottle. Now I just keep my baking soda in a separate container so it's easier to access. I just have this twist off lid container and I like to keep two Q-tips in there that I use to move around the baking soda on top of the glue so I don't have to get it all over my fingers. So this little stable mate custom I'm just going to attach his head using the super glue so I've drilled a hole and I'm going to fill that hole with super glue attach that wire that will become his neck and then you're just going to dunk that right into the baking soda and I use the q-tip to spread it over top so that I don't make contact with my fingers. This is actually a chemical reaction between the glue and the soda so if you touch it it will give you a mild chemical burn so I don't recommend using your fingers. You can add layers with this method so I put more super glue on top and then just keep adding baking soda. So you can pretty much create anything out of this. I've seen artists completely model ears onto model horses just using baking soda and super glue. This is a mandatory step in reattaching limbs because you want stability in the foundation of your sculpture. Any body part that you're reattaching onto the model, you want to use this, and you always, always should reinforce with wire, with the exception of Stablemate ears because they're simply too small to be reinforced. I also like to use this as a base for sculpting on top of, so when I use my blue masking tape to create structure such as in the tail or the neck, adding the super glue and baking soda makes it really solid, really sturdy, so that I have a good base to sculpt on top of that will not crack and will not warp or bend. And so I can do this pretty easily on both traditional and stable mate scale customs. So this is a fundamental step in customizing. It's a super neat trick. It works like magic. It's a brilliant tool and I highly recommend trying it out and using it for your customs furthermore. If you have any questions, feel free to message me or send me an email. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. You can also join my mailing list to be the first to know about sales pieces, commission slots, and YouTube tutorials. Check out my website to sign up for the newsletter. All the links for the tools used in this video are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and happy customizing.